I know we're playing musical chairs up here, so. Well, welcome. Uh, my name is Jim Stieg. I'm very honored to be here today on this uh, really special occasion for uh, the San Diego Chargers. Uh, this is a moment that has only happened uh, once before in the history of this franchise. And I think it's a very special moment and we're hopefully you uh, understand what this really means to us and the history of the uh, team and its legacy here in San Diego. To start things off, I'd like to introduce somebody that really doesn't need any introduction, but Bob Breitbart to uh, talk a little bit here. Bob? Thank you so much, Jim. I'm honored today to say a few words, and they told me just a few words. They gave me 35 seconds. <laughs> so about our dear friend here, one of the finest and most talented football players to ever play the game for the San Diego Chargers, Lance Allworth. Lance, I'm proud to say, is in our San Diego Hall of Fame down in Balboa Park, and today he will be further honored with having his jersey, number 19. It'll be retired forever. And that's one of the most prestigious awards ever to have happened, Lance, and I know you know this, but you're only the second one here at San Diego. Lance, we all, will always remember the grace with which you got on the football field, the grace in which you, you held yourself here in the community and what you have done in the community since retiring. All of San Diego is proud of your accomplishments, my friend, and we congratulate you on this award. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Bob. Now I'd like to introduce Ted Roth, who's chairman of the San Diego International Sports Council. Thank you, Jim. Just as I say that, my phone goes off. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure to, to be here and to uh, speak on behalf of the Sports Council, which is proud to be a partner with the San Diego Chargers and a lot of uh, things that, that, that we do in the community. We thank the Chargers for their support of our organization. And Lance, even though I did not have an op the opportunity to see you uh, play football live, I want you to know that uh, the television sets back in Iowa, where I grew up, we, uh, we saw you frequently and you were certainly a, a pleasure to watch. And we look forward, Dean, to, to working with you over the course of the next year or two to make sure that, uh, that we continue to have events like this in, a, uh, in a, a new stadium where we can continue to, uh, to put more numbers up on the, on the board. So congratulations to, to you, Lance, and also to uh, the San Diego Chargers. Thank you, Ted. Now, Lance, we can go on and talk about you forever and ever and all the things you've done. And, and, uh, I watched many elements of your career and watched what was going on, but I, I think we got a clip that we got from NFL Films that they did about a few years ago. And we had dark hair then. <laughs> but I think it says more about your career than anything to just watch this videotape for a second and uh, give an understanding. Now I'd like to introduce the person whose idea this was from the very beginning and wanted to honor Lance, Dean Spanos. Thank you. Um, you want me to keep going, Lance? <laughs> I could go on for a long time, but I just want to say how proud everybody is for your accomplishments and for you, for you today. Um, not just as a player, but I think as Bob said earlier, for the type of person you are and how well you have represented yourself in the community. Um, I just I want to say that your play obviously became the trademark for the Chargers and not only for the Chargers, but probably for the entire National Football League at that time. Uh, I personally can't think of anybody more deserving, and I just want to say congratulations. And so it's with a great deal of honor today that I introduce um, our honoree this year, our November game against, Bo uh, against Buffalo in November, um, Lance Allworth. Come on up, Lance. Wow. You know, 
guys, this is about as good as it gets. Um, it's a very humbling experience, uh, one that I will always remember. Uh, Dean, I want you to know that this award is the one award in football that I hold above all. And uh, I want to thank you for making it special for me because it really is. Uh, the Hall of Fame is great, but being at home and being special here in San Diego means so much to me and my family. And uh, I just thank you very much for it. I want to thank everybody for the kind words in the papers this morning. Uh, they, they were really nice, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to keep those for many, many years as well as I will. These pictures that we saw today, uh, I sure wish I was negotiating with you for salary now. Rather than salary. <laughs> but it's been great, and, and I really want to tell the organization how much I appreciate the work they put in in getting this accomplished, but more than anything, the Spanos family, and especially you, Dean, because I, I know that uh, it's taken uh, a lot of effort to do that, and it's been a long period of time. And uh, I know that you guys are like the third or fourth people to own this, and, and I know that we haven't had all the traditions that we've hoped we've had, but maybe this is the beginning of it. I certainly hope so, because I, I know that that's what you guys would like to have. And I know that all the players and fans and uh, and, and people here in San Diego would like to have that happen, and I know it's going to happen with you in charge. And I, I thank you very much personally. Uh, that's sort of it for me. I have a wonderful wife and family, and uh, I appreciate all their support. And more than anything, uh, all the things you saw today were just a lot of God-given talent, and I thank him for that. Thank you. Lance, if we can get you back up here, we're going to get a quick picture up here with Dean and Lance with, uh, with the jersey that will be retired this year for our cameras in the back here. <laughs> and again, this is a press conference. If you gentlemen had any questions, we can bring Lance back up or... Um, we can do that uh, separately on, on our own afterwards. All right, no questions? <laughs> sure. Do you remember the Jet game against Johnny Sample and Bob Bowe Stadium down in the southwest corner where you guys went up in the air and Sample thought he had that ball there a second, you went up and tipped it up in the air. Went, did about three flips. You went up again and got come down with that ball and scored on it. Johnny Sample laid on the ground, stomping. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that play like it was yesterday. Well, I appreciate that. I have, the only thing I remember is catching the ball. So it was, you know, <laughs> just thankful that I got it. Carrie so Furley came over to the bench on the jet side. We're up behind him. We were ragging on him for about 20 minutes about that catch. Friday turned around, got on the ground, and bowed to everybody. <laughs> To me, that kind of epitomizes your career. That's what you did, guys. Well, I appreciate that, and I appreciate your support over all these years. I'm sure the Chargers appreciate you, too. So thanks for those memories. Uh, that's, that's a good one. Who was the quarterback? Who was the quarterback? John Hadle. John Hadle is probably, I felt, like the best quarterback playing in that period of time. Uh, he threw an easy ball to catch. He was always accurate. He, uh, he could run with the ball when he had to. He played under a very strict mentor and uh, responded extremely well. And I feel like when you look at the stats, if you look at John's stats in comparison with all the guys that played in the AFL during that period of time, that his stand way out and beyond. And I, you know, I, I firmly believe that he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And uh, you know, I'm not a spokesman for him, but I feel like that he really deserves it. And I certainly I appreciate you asking me that question because I do feel like that he deserves to be in with the stats that he has. And if people will take a look at those, then they'll probably agree with me. Thank you. Yes. Who gave you the nickname Bambi? Uh, 
Charlie Flowers uh, and Keith Lincoln always uh, said they both gave it to me. It was the first day in camp, and they took a look at me and uh, said, hey, you've got big brown eyes and uh, short hair, and you run with your knees up, we're going to call you Bambi. So the uh, story I tell with that, for the next two or three years, everybody called me Bambi. And then for a couple years after that, everybody called me Bam. And the seventh year that I came into camp, I uh, was looking around, didn't see many people I knew, and I heard somebody whisper, hey, that's Mr. Allworth. <laughs> and I, I knew I'd been there a little too long. Well, you know, that's a really hard thing uh, to answer uh, the most favorite play because they were all a lot of fun to do. And I, I think that, and I've said this before, uh, as a professional athlete or as any athlete, when you go from game to game, you, you don't remember an awful lot. At least I, I didn't tend to. The whole, my whole career was sort of a blur to me because you played on Sunday and you played as well as you could and you either played you played not as well, so well, but then on my Monday, as soon as that ball game was over, you had to start getting ready for the next week, or you wouldn't play very well that week. So you didn't get a chance to sit back and say, boy, that was great. We did this, we did that. You just have to go from one game to the next game and, just, and get ready the day after. You just have to do that in order to be ready mentally because physically you can always prepare yourself. Mentally you have to take the time and, and, and do it, and that's, that's the difference I feel like in the athletes. Um, it's just who can prepare themselves mentally the best for the week. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Any more? Yes. In this moment, what is the best uh, wide receiver in the NFL for you, in your opinion? You know, it's... Uh, I, you know, I have a couple that are, that are my favorites that I like to watch, but uh, uh, the one that I feel like is probably the best blessed athlete is, uh, and, and the, the one who should stand out and do better. I hate to say this because he's going to be with Oakland this year, but uh, that's yeah, what, uh, his name. Help me with that. It's, pardon? Randy. Rand, uh, yeah, Randy Moss. I'm sorry. I should remember it very easily because I really enjoy watching him play. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. He just he plays with no effort, you know. I just wish he'd get mentally more into the ball game. That's all. So, but he's great. Yes. Well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. I'm really sorry that, that I didn't play longer here. I, um, I was uh, detoured and played two years in Dallas, which I, even though I have a Super Bowl, I look at that as uh, two years of really non-production other than blocking. So uh, when I went to Dallas, I arrived at the airport and uh, the coach met me at the, didn't meet me at the airport. I met him at the field and he said, uh, pulled me into his office, and he didn't say, Lance, glad to have you, nice to have you here in Dallas. He just pulled me over and he said, look, if you'll block, we'll win the Super Bowl. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, I'll block, and he said, fine. And so he got up and walked out of the room. That was the last time I saw him until the Super Bowl. <laughs> and I certainly didn't get thrown too many times, but it was a lot of fun. But um, uh, again, thank you for that. I appreciate that very much. <laughs> oh, then you're ha really happy to be out here. <laughs> when we went back there, it was a little, a little cold. Yes? I just want to say that when I was a kid, I read about you, you know, in sports magazines, and I read about you in the Hall of Fame, and I read about you in the <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, heck. You guys have made it a lot of fun. I really appreciate this today. So.
Yes. I will say one thing. There's never been another Bambi. No one's ever, ever tried to call himself Bambi. <laughs> well, there may be a reason for that. <laughs> so... Okay, guys, thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dee. Well, we want to thank everybody for coming. As Bill said, uh, you know, the opportunity to talk to Dean and Lance up here separately, you know, around for all the media that are here. Um, November 20th is going to be a very special day in the history of this franchise. And there never was a number, never another Bambi, but there'll never be another, never another 19 in the history of this franchise. So. Thank you very much for coming.